Hey, what's up, smart wealth makers? My name is Lila, and in this video of the series, starting a SaaS business with no coding, with a very small budget, I'm creating this series of video to show you how to start this type of business step by step. In this video of the series, so I'll go through installing the PHP script that we bought on the VPS hosting and setting up the website. So let's get started. Now let me show you how to buy and set up Hostinger VPS server. If you go to hostinger.com under the hosting, choose VPS hosting. Let's click start now. Here you can see the VPS plans. They have VPS 1, VPS 2, 3 and so on. I'm going to choose the VPS 1 server just to try the service. But the recommended one is the most popular one that you can see here at $499 a month. Let me select the VPS 1. It takes you to this screen. They allow you to test their service for one month at $899. If you're not happy with the service, you can always ask for your money back. You can see here 30 days money back guarantee. Otherwise, you can check the other options that, that are $399 for one year, $399 a one year, $369 for two years, or the cheapest as $349 for four years. I'm going to choose $399 for one year, oh sorry, for one month, the service, a PHP script on this VPS server. You can add your email address and then select the payment from credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Alipay, or, or with CoinGate if you prefer paying with cryptocurrency. I'm not going to waste your time by filling this information. It's straightforward. Now, when you do so, you'll get an email sent to your email box and they ask you to verify your email address. They also send you an email that, that they received your payment with all the details of the server that you bought. And the last email I got with a link for the sign in for signing in, or you can just sign in from their website. Now, when you sign up, you get to this dashboard and they call it H panel of Hostinger. We're going to set up the VPS. If you click set up, you see here, they specify that is cyber panel VPS one you can click set up, then start now. Then if you click start now, I ask you to choose the country. Then here they show you the operating system that comes by default and that's sent OS seven with cyber panel. If you click selected, you can change it or you can change it later. I'll show you how to change it <coughs> later in this video. So I'll click continue. Then it asks you to set your password. Be sure to save this password as you need it. The next screen is filling up more of the details. The first thing that it asks you to give your server a name. Set secure. The root password could be the same as your login password or a different one. But the most important thing is to write all of them down. Then they ask you to add an SSH key and that's optional. So I'm going to skip that. Continue. Now it's creating the server. It takes a while so I'm going to speed up this video. I'm not going to waste your time. Now it says well done, you're ready. The VPS dashboard. Manage the server. Now you'll be ready to manage the server and you come to this dashboard. We're on the overview and you can see your VPS information, VPS access, that's the IP address and here you can check if your server is running or not by seeing this screen. And here you can reboot the server, the VPS or stop it if you wish to. We have here the VPS access. It gives you the root, the default SSH username, as we didn't set any. It's root and password, a password that you can change at any time. And uh, the terminal, the terminal details and so on and so forth. Find details here, just to remind you what server you bought. That's a VPS one with the one CPU, one gigabyte memory and one terabyte bandwidth with 20 gigabyte disk space. Now, before creating a website, I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name from Hostinger. It is straightforward and you can do it from any provider that we mentioned in the last video. So if you go to Hostinger, if you log in on Hostinger, then you go to domains, create a new domain and then search for a domain name that you want to buy. The best is structure.com. That's the example I gave you the last time. And then if you click buy, it gives you the option to buy it for one year, for two years or three years. Then you enter your payment details and then complete payment. As easy as that. When you do pay for the domain name, if you go back to domains, you will find your domain name on this window here. You can see if it's active and when it will expire. And make sure to switch off the auto renewal if you don't want to renew it. If you want to manage it, just click on this arrow here. It gives you the full detail details of the domain name. Now let's go back to home and let's manage our server. And then uh, on the left panel, you go to operating systems. 
You can see here the, under the control panel link, you see the login URL, the username and the password, but you can uh, reset it. So once you have all the information, the username and the password, if you click on the login URL, it takes you to the cyber panel. Here you enter the details, the username and the password, and then you sign in. Once you sign in, you'll be taken to this dashboard. You can you can either go to websites, as you can see here, or on the left panel and go to websites, create website, select package, default and then select the owner admin in this case domain name uh, domain name that you bought or you have already you enter your email address and then you select the php version to know which which version you should choose of the php you should check the the script requirements and in our case if you go to documentation you will see what are the requirements what php version they need so here you can see it says php version 4.4 or greater. I'm going to choose 8 and then you can either create the SSL and create mail domain right now or you can do it later. Let's just skip that and create our website. Now the website is created. We go to manage. If you type smartwealthtools.com you'll see 404 error, page not found. That's expected. We don't, we don't have anything on the website and it's not set up yet. Now we go back to the cyber panel and we go on the website, go down to file manager and then we click on public HTML. We can probably delete the index.html that is already there and then upload our files. So uploaded the compressed files. Once they're uploaded, we extract them and remove the compressed file. We don't need it. That's all done. Now to point the domain name to the server, we're going to go to domains, click on the arrow to manage the domain name. Now here, manage DNS records. This applies to any um, registrar, domain registrar that you bought the your domain name from. In this case, we bought it from Hostinger. So we're going to get to add a record. The type is a name at, and then points to, we have to add the IP address, your IP address, and then add record. We do the same for CNAME, but in this case the name is www and then the target is your domain name without the www, just the domain name.com and then add the record. That's all done and then refresh the page. If it doesn't work, check the PHP again if it's the right version or supported by the script that you bought, save changes, then go back to the dashboard, go to websites, list websites and here you can issue SSL. That is the lock that you see before your URL can see it's there that's great now you see even though we did add the um, SSL certificate it still shows an error now we're going to do some checks to see if it works if you click on Control R on Windows to the command prompt or ser just search it and you can search CMD you get the control panel then if you write IP config flush DNS it says successfully flushed let's check our page again you can see it still shows an error the next thing I'm going to try is another browser I'm going to use Mozilla Firefox in this case obviously I logged in again on HPanel on Hostinger and the cyber panel as I showed you before now if we list websites and then manage website if you go to the preview up here it will still show not found page 404 but if we type the your domain name, if you type your domain name slash install, you will get to the welcome page of the PHP script. Click let's go, then check if the server requirements are all ticked, then you click continue. Now here you have to create a database. You have to create um, a database name, username and password. Now if you go back to the cyber panel and get the to the main dashboard and then go to databases and create a database, select the website you're working on, add a database name and then a username and a password. Then create database. You can see database successfully created. We go to databases again and list databases just to see if it's there and obviously to copy the details. So you see the database name is there, the username and password obviously you should, should have saved it. Adding the database name, the username, and the password, the PHP purchase code, 
If you want to know where you can find it, you go to Code Canyon and then go to the downloads, check your script and you either choose license certificate and purchase code in PDF format or text. Then you copy your purchase code and add it here. Then click continue. If it doesn't work, it still doesn't work on this browser, just change browsers and check which one works. In this case, in my case, went back to Brave and it worked. Now they ask you to create an admin account. Just add an e your email address and a password. Make sure you remember this password. So you need it to access the admin dashboard to be able to change the script you bought. Now if you click continue and voila, the website is ready. You can see it's with the domain name I purchased. Now you can go to login on this website and enter the details that you we just that you just set up. That is the username and the password. And here we are at the admin dashboard. Here you can change any settings that this script allows from the titles, the contents, the colors. In this particular one, if you go to admin dashboard, then go to settings, you have general settings, change the site title, enable this parallax image. If we refresh our website, you see it disappeared. You can, you can add or remove social media accounts. You can change the header, the footer, the menu, and so on and so forth. The content, and that's, this is how it was before, and this is how I customize it a bit. I hope this was helpful, and if it was, drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next coming videos in this series. Thank you for watching, this is Smart Wealth Makers, and I'll see you later guys.